The engineering department is responsible for everything mechanical on the boat from the coffee maker to the main engine. Anything that can break, we have to fix. The skills we're looking for are mechanical skills. If you have the ability to uh, fix your car, uh, that's, that's a good start. If you're a do-it-yourself type who likes to read popular mechanics or popular science, then uh, those, those are the type of skills that uh, would apply to this job. One of the other skill set you have to come on board with is the willingness to learn. The learning curve, it gets thrown at you pretty hard because you, you're required to figure things out and once you learn where everything's at on the boat, you have to be able to figure out what's wrong with it and be able to roll with the punches as it goes. As a chief engineer, you report uh, to the captain and the chief mate, but really uh, you report to everybody on the boat because anytime something's broken, it's your job to fix it, especially if it's a passenger. If something's wrong with the passenger room, make that your biggest priority. It's their vacation and it's their time and it's their trip, so you got to make sure it's very enjoyable. The biggest challenges that you come with working on a boat like this is you're out there by yourself. If you have an immediate problem and you need parts, you have to make it work. There is no going to the gas station and getting it fixed. So you have to fix it and fix it now. So that's one of the biggest challenges that you have. Some of the engine rooms are fairly small, so getting into tight spaces is a little bit of a challenge. Uh, do what's called boat yoga. Uh, you got to contort yourself into some weird spots. Being clean is a, is a challenge. It's a customer service role, so you have to you have to act like you're working at a department store and also uh, as an engineer on the boat. Uh, this job is a little bit different than other engineering jobs in that we get to go see stuff that tourists want to see. Maybe sometime after your shift, you can go on a hike or uh, go see a glacier, go for a kayak or a skip tour. One thing that the engineering department does have is there's a lot of room for growth. Where you can start out as the assistant engineer and be a port engineer. So if you stick with it, put your nose to the grindstone, you can get there.